Hi everyone, we are on day number three of the Action Bible's Christmas 25 stories about Jesus's arrival and today we are on number three which is Gabriel. So let me read. Don't be afraid. I know that's an odd way to begin a conversation but I found it something I usually need to say with every message from God that he has me deliver. I guess seeing an angel for the very first time can be a little frightening for a human being, but I'm just delivering information from God, kind of like a heavenly postman with wings. The funny thing is that right now I'm the one who's feeling a little nervous. I think I'm just excited because the news God asked me to deliver announces the most wonderful thing that has happened since God created the world. But where are my manners? First, let me introduce myself. Angels have names just like people. Mine is Gabriel, which means God is my strength. But today, God has asked me to deliver the tenderest of news, a birth announcement. This isn't the first time I visited someone to tell her she's going to have a baby. Just a few months ago, I told Zechariah that he and his wife Elizabeth would soon be parents. And today, I get to tell Elizabeth's relative a teenage girl named Mary, that she's going to give birth to a son as well. But unlike my message for Zechariah, who is very old and had prayed for years and years to become a father, this message may not be welcome news. After all, Mary is engaged but not yet married, so this is going to be a big surprise. And even though Mary will be the baby's mother, the baby's father won't be Joseph, the man she's engaged to marry. The baby's father will be God himself. Look, I know this all sounds a little confusing, and that's totally understandable. Nothing like this has ever happened before. I should know. I've been around a long time. As far as people count things, anyway. More than 600 years ago, I helped a man named Daniel understand a dream God gave him. More than 700 years ago, God spoke to the prophet Isaiah in a vision. I might not have been God's chosen messenger on that day, but every angel in heaven knows about God's promise to send his people a saviour. Now the time has come for God to deliver on his promise. I hope I can help Mary understand her important role in God's amazing plan. I wonder what she's going to say.